person watching. Yay, two people. Hi, two people. <laughs> if you're just joining, make sure you have two blocks or something this size and a blanket for today. This 15 minute challenge is also a challenge for me to speed up my teaching because it's very hard to get uh, a lot of poses in, yin poses in 15 minutes. So um, it's a challenge for me as well. So let's go ahead and start because it's noon. Um, and if you just joined, feel free to back up these classes uh, or take the classes back to back um, in the future. If you want a long class, you can just bunch them all together and you'll know which uh, meridians that you're working, which organ systems that you're working with each video. So let's start in a seated position. If you wanna sit on your blanket, you can to help elevate your hips. And we'll just start with a little breath work here. Sitting up tall in a comfortable seat, start to notice your breath coming in and out of the nostrils. Start to slow the breath down. And just take a note of how your breath is without changing it too much, just slowing it down, not changing the inhale or the exhale, making it longer or shorter. You're just slowing the whole thing down. And then see if you can notice if your inhale's shorter or your exhale's shorter or your inhale's longer, whatever. Just see if, just notice your breath, everything about your breath. Is it short and choppy? Is it long and slow? Are you inhaling for a short amount of time, exhaling for a long amount of time? Just notice. And from here, we're gonna come into our first posture of the day for liver and gallbladder, and that is dragon. So come to hands and knees, tabletop. And this is why you have a blanket. I recommend patting your knees with that blanket. Step the right foot forward and grab your blocks. So your blocks can frame your front foot. And you're just in this lunge here. Shifting the hips forward and down, but you're gonna to come to your first edge of resistance. So where your body wants to stop, stop there and then relax your body. So where you're relaxing is your hips, the front of your left hip, the hip flexor, the inside of the right thigh. Because some muscles will stay activated, like your arms are holding you up. So those muscles in your arms are still pretty activated. But the hips need to be soft so that we can really work into the fascia um, and the joints. That's kind of the goal of yin. Uh, you do get a muscle stretch as well. But the goal is to get into the joints and the connective tissue surrounding them versus working, strengthening and stretching the muscles that we do in a regular yoga. And joints like to have a gentle stress upon them for a long period of time. And when you let go of that stress, that's when these fibroblasts or like healing friends in your body come to that area and they start to repair the area and start to um, aid in the healing of that joint or con connective tissue. All right, so from here, if you wanna try inside dragon, take the blocks to the inside of that right foot and walk the right foot out to the edge of the mat. And maybe you can sink your hips a little lower here, maybe not. So listen to your body finding that mild edge. And for the last five breaths, see if you can wing that right knee out to the side. And you're gonna be coming up onto the outer edge of that right foot. If that's too intense for you today, just come back to the regular um, inside dragon. And 
and come back to center with that knee, drop down onto the inside of that left foot and you'll come onto the inside part of that left knee. Then you're gonna walk your hands and maybe your blocks with them over to the left, coming into Fragon. We won't be here too long. Um, so this is a little bit deeper sensation into that liver channel meridian that we're working on. You can stay on your hands or drop to your elbows on the blocks. And breathe here, imagine your breath going straight into any areas that you feel the most sensation. Still relaxing the hips. You can let the head hang, relax your jaw. If it feels uncomfortable, you're probably doing it right. Just breathe, a couple more breaths. And then you can come back up to your hands if you're on your elbows, walk your blocks back to center, slowly shift the hips back and walk that right foot back to meet the left. If you wanna shake the hips side to side gently, you can do that just to kind of help the tissues creep back to their normal state. And then from here, we'll head into dragon on the other side. So step the left foot forward. You can frame that front foot for baby dragon with your blocks like we did at first. Shifting forward and down, coming to that first edge, and relax there. This is a great pose to do every single day, especially if you're having, if you're sitting a lot or um, even standing a lot. It still feels good. Just try to do this every day. And I just want to talk a little bit about the liver and gallbladder channels, and then I'll let you practice in silence. But just so you know, the liver channel begins at the top, on the top of the big toe on both sides. These channels go on both sides of the body. And um, it travels on top of the foot to the inner ankle, the medial aspect of the lower leg, the inner thigh to the pubic region. That's why these inner thigh poses, we do a lot of them in yin yoga. It's easy to access that channel and two other main channels in the body that go along the inside of the thigh. Then it scatters underneath the ribs, then pours into the lungs, up the trachea and connects with the eyes, encircles the lips across the forehead to reach the vertex of the head. So that's the, that's the liver channel. So from here, let's take that inside dragon, dropping the blocks to the inside of that left foot. Walk the left foot out to the left a little bit. Maybe you can shift a little bit further closer to the ground. Maybe you can wing that left knee out. And these channels are basically embedded within the fascia of the body. So this, that's why it works so well to talk about this and to think about this when we're practicing yoga, yin yoga, because we're working in those uh, fascial um, networks within the body. So you can really think about this Chinese medicine with it as they, they work together to help heal the body. The gallbladder begins at the outer corner of the eyes and the two branches reside there. It weaves back and forth on the lateral side of the head, curving behind the ear, then on top of the shoulder. From here, we're gonna take fragging. So bring that left knee in and walk the blocks kind of off the mat a little bit to the right. Pivot onto the inside of that right foot and the inside of that right knee. And then you can 
stay on your blocks or you can fold down to your elbows here. Looking for a sensation on the inner right thigh. So then at the top of the shoulder, the gallbladder channel runs from under front of underarm along lateral as aspect of the rib cage to hip region. So it's the lateral, the side seam of the body. The second branch travels internally to the cheek and through the neck and chest to reach the liver and gallbladder. Then the side of the abdomen, the outer hip, the lateral aspect of the thigh. Knee to the side of the lower leg to front of the outer ankle, to top of the foot and lateral side tip of the fourth toe. Then a branch goes below the ankle to cross over the foot to the big toe connecting to the liver meridian. All right, slowly come back to center. Shift your hips back, take that left foot back to meet the right. If you wanna know more about these channels, um, I recommend this book. I'm still trying to get through this book. It's called The Web That Has No Weaver, but it's really good. And it has um, pictures that show all the channels and everything of the body. So you can incorporate that into your practice if you want. That's where I'm getting my information from. And go ahead and come down to your back. And we'll take a shorter version of banana asana to get that lateral aspect of our body. So Come into, on your back, bent knees like you're going to do bridge pose. Lift your hips up, set them over to the right, then stretch your legs out to the back left corner of your mat. You can try stacking the right foot on top of the left or keep the legs separated. Arms go overhead. Then walk them over to the left as well. Try to keep that right hip down. So you're trying to keep that right glute to the mat so that your pelvis is flat. You're just getting this nice banana shape with your body. If you want to try grabbing the right, right uh, wrist with your left hand, you can lift it up and over to the left and then reach the shoulders to the mat. Try to relax here. Notice your breath. Try to lengthen the breath. Even if you can just make the exhale a little longer, maybe you can try to make the inhale a little longer as well. You can play around with your head position. You can turn it to the right or to the left. And try to relax that right side of your body here. And you can always, if you're watching this video uh, later, you can always pause the videos, take a little bit longer in each pose if you'd like, maybe take each pose for five minutes um, and see how that affects you, see how you feel after that. But for now, let's go back to the center. Uncross your legs, if they're crossed, come back to that bridge pose. Then lift the hips, set them over to the left, straighten the legs out to the back right corner, cross the left foot on top of the right, or you can just keep the legs next to each other. Arms also go over to the top right corner of your mat. I'm just going to relax here. Turn your head one way or the other. 
soften the belly, relax your jaw, and just let your thoughts flow. And then if you want to continue in this pose, you can, or you can come back to center, straighten out your body, lie here and take a good five minute Shavasana if you can, but for the sake of time, we'll have to end here. This 15 minutes is very challenging to do, but you did it. Yay. So now take your rest. You deserve it. Let your thoughts collect, let your body relax and take your Shavasana. Until next time, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.